the car is uh, fucking awesome. You love puppies? Are you gonna be a good boy? Yeah. Can you wash my hands? All of you. All of you. You know what's nice is wearing your socks. Oh yeah. Because then I feel like you're with me all day. You're like my security blanket. I was like, yeah, I like wearing my socks too. For different reasons. I love you. I love you. Have a good day. You too. Hopefully I get my classroom done today. And then hopefully nobody bothers you. <gasps> <laughs> I can't say anything. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> do you need me to do anything for you? Nope. Okay. Puppies are in, doors are locked. I love you. I love you, boo. I'll see you later. Okay. Have a good day. Have a good day, boo. Bud, you look like you're trying not to look at me. So this is a life in the morning. Not bad. Um, pretty good morning so far. So um, I'm gonna head out. I'm trekking the Silverado to go work and do tech. Hopefully work on my website some today. Maybe um, get some of the blog part done and maybe some like uh, ideas or something. But anyways, I'm off. See you later. Doing it in the middle. Anyways, what a foggy day. So here's the car. driving in this piece. Just trying to watch some TV, you know, and a little bit of traffic. This is the joys of driving. You could be um, on your way on time and then randomly not be on your way on time. Um, but uh, yeah. I really uh, need a new car. I really need to uh, do something because this is a pain. Because the air conditioning right now has to be off because if it's on, you can't hear the video. And then whenever it's on, it's it's only on five. So I gotta fix that. I don't have a speedometer still. I don't have a coolant gauge. I don't have a gas gauge. Turn signals aren't working. Let's just say I'm getting very, very annoyed. So I'm really like, just thinking maybe after work one day, I just need to go and try to see if I can get approved for that car and buy it. But that's my problem. I don't feel like I'm gonna get approved. I feel like there's gonna be something that uh, comes up that's gonna cause me to get denied or them not to appro approve it. But I do know for sure that I wanna get a uh, BMW M340i. I want something that's four door I want something that's reliable on gas mileage, um, and I want something that I can modify up to a thousand horsepower. So that right there, like, narrows down a million vehicles, because, you know, the I'm probably not going to get to a thousand horsepower, right? But the idea of the thousand, um, if you can get to five or six hundred horsepower with a few mods, that's kind of the goal. So originally, it would have been like a Cadillac CTSV. A V8, four-door, supercharged, rear-wheel drive, manual. Anyways, traffic is driving me nuts now because the whole right lane is just zooming by. process of doing so he said when you get back just take off and I was like it's gonna be like two o'clock if I take off now but I didn't argue I didn't say anything because I have argued in the past about oh no no need no no worries I'll do it no. so I'm in the truck um, I'm on my way to Fields BMW 
I took that as a, you should go buy your car today. So we're on our way. I should be there at like 2.50. I'm gonna pro I haven't eaten all day, so I'm probably gonna stop to eat something first. This thing that I wanted to say was, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about my truck. I'm assuming that if I buy the car today, they'll just let me park my truck in their parking lot and then I'll come back tomorrow or tonight or something like that with Julia and pick it up. Meaning that they need to change like $2,500 in price. So we'll see. Let's see what they say. <clears throat> she came back <clears throat> and uh, showed the JV power and then the black book pricing. And then they discounted another 778 So it's 1278 total. So I bought the car today, and uh, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the Silverado, come back tomorrow morning and pick that up. But um, as of right now, I'm gonna leave the truck here. I just went on the test drive, talked to the genius. He um, went over all the features. I'll make sure everything's locked. All righty, bye girl. I'll see you later. Always so worried about keys. All right, locked. Hmm. Locked. Keys. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah. I guess maybe I just need to get in like a comfortable position. <sighs> what time is it? 7.30. Probably should go to the bathroom. All right, so we begin this journey. Very happy now. 
Um, so in the car, everything's driving great. Just got all the mirrors readjusted, which was a huge reason that I felt like I was not able to drive. Now I just have um, to get comfortable with everything else, all the blind spots and everything like that. But yeah, doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Pretty excited. Uh, I'm really starting to immediately feel comfortable, but I have to keep looking down to make sure that I'm not speeding. Because I am. And uh, Julia's excited. I'm gonna go straight to her, and we're going to uh, go for a little ride. Just get her reaction, see how she likes the car. So, uh, the car is, uh, f***ing awesome. The, uh, the main thing that I want to take away from this is it is literally night and day experience. Obviously, I came from the Silverado. Silverado, you barely press the brakes, you barely press anything, you barely do anything. You have, like, all these consequences, or you have, like, all these, like, it's not going to stop us, or I should say it's, you, bar you hit the gas, it barely does anything. You hit the brakes, it barely does anything. But... Everything you do, you have to, like, watch what you do and how you do it because it's going to, like, affect the stability of the ride. You know what I mean? So, with this, it almost seems too stable. And at one point in time, like, I could tell it was cutting power a few times. The other thing is, is I'll get near the line and it'll push me back in the road. So, like, there's a lot of false sense of security and then there's a lot of actual security. So, it's kind of really interesting but the thing is is that I could stop like on a dime not really because I can start to feel brake fade somewhat but I don't know if it's just fade or I just need to press harder but um I mean you have all the confidence in the world because you know you're just gonna be able to stop and then you have all the confidence in the world to get around somebody because you're fucking moving like it just pounds through the the gears and it just puts you in the seat the thing that's weird about it, though, is the, the, the throttle. Like, I don't know. I I pressed it full throttle many, many times. So I guess it's just one of the... And it just doesn't feel like it's, um, it's going until a second it's going. But the entire time it's been going. So it's really interesting because it's... Uh, it feels almost, for a moment, like it's slow. But then it, like... It, it's already gone, you know? So I guess that's just the torque. Um, you know, because torque puts you in the seat, but then, like, I don't know, other times torque just, like, accelerates like you don't even know. So, son of a buck tooth beaver trapping muskrat chasing lumberjack. So anyways, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Like, beyond excited. All right. I figured it out. I just try to like go while I was in uh, Eco Pro, and that thing did not want to move. It was like, nope, sorry. So I think the reason is because it's the mapping on the throttle. So I think it's not doing anything because it's not, and then all of a sudden it's doing something, and then it just goes. And it's because it's like, well, you don't need to, you don't need to, you don't need to. Okay, then just go then, and then it lets you. Uh, where if I had it in sport, I probably would have more range. But anyways, that's the next thing. Oh, who put that there? That's my car. Can you not ruin my car? The I know. Is... Well, why 